Hey guys, this is Angelica coming at you today to show you my famous spaghetti meal that I'm making. And as you can see, these are the ingredients that I will be using today. Um, and everything came from the Dollar Tree, including my hamburger meat. Yes, my Dollar Tree, they sell chicken, um, chicken thighs, chicken legs, um, hamburger meat, um... They sell a lot of different things in mine because we have like a gigantic one. I'll show you guys a video of them one day when I go. Okay, but I, all this stuff here was under a dollar. The meat was a dollar. I got two packs of that, which is, as you can see, cooking on the stove. Okay, the Sargento cheese was a dollar. The garlic bread was a dollar. The pepperoni was a dollar. Everything here I got from Dollar Tree except my uh, great value uh, Parmesan cheese. So, I just want to let you guys come and see the ingredients. I'll be right back with the cooking process. Okay, guys, moving right along to what the cooking process is. Okay, I have my garlic bread in the oven. as give you guys a close-up of that. And I'm going to add some of the Sargento cheese to that as it cooks. So, it can be cheese on top. Now, this is my ground beef. It has been cooking for um, about 20, 15, 20 minutes. Um, I had started off on low because I had it was unthawed, but it was not unthawed all the way out. And this came from the Dollar Tree as well. Now, I used rotini to give a di different texture to the spaghetti instead of just the plain spaghetti noodles. And I got these from the Dollar Tree as well. Here is the box. Colombiana rotini, a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And these have been boiling uh, for about 10 to 11 minutes. And I had my water boiling before um, I started. They're almost ready. They're kind of still kind of hard a little bit. I'm giving about a few more minutes. So, yeah, you guys, everything is coming together really good. And I'll be back to show you guys the next video. Okay, guys, you can see my hamburger meat is done cooking. So, I don't use a strainer um, on my meat um, because I just don't like the, um, the way that it leaves the meat looking. So, I use um, my Pyrex bowl. And I pour my hamburger meat into there as such to let it drain. I like it like that. It's better to me. You don't have to use do yours, you know, as that way. But this is the way that I um, drain my hamburger meat. And I don't like to drain it over my sink because the grease and stuff can clog up your sink. Um, so, yes, you guys, this is how I drain my meat, and then I let it sit for a minute, and I, you know, pat it a little bit to help get the grease around, okay? Okay, guys, my noodles are done. You can see they're, they're, they're thicker now. So, I'm going to take them off the stove, take, take one off the thing, sit it here. I'm going to pinch it to, you know, see if it's to my consistency, my liking. I'm going to... Okay, pretty good. It's, it's not too hard. Still, you know, it's not too soft. It's not mushy. So, I'm going to put it in the sink. Run some cold water on it to let the to stop the cooking process. And to get rid of some of the starch, you guys. Okay, guys, I'm checking on my garlic bread. It is starting to brown around the edges. So that lets me know it's almost done. So we're going to touch it. Yes, it's almost done. So I'm going to use some great value, uh, the taco blend cheese. I'm going to use some of that on it because it has the mozzarella already in it, you guys. So I'm just going to take some of that and sprinkle it so it will melt on the bread. Instead of paying the, you know, I went since I went to the Dollar Tree to get this bread, um, they didn't have the four cheese kind. So I'm just going to make my own at home four cheese kind by uh, putting my own cheese um, onto it to let it melt in the stove as it cooks. So you guys, I'll be right to show you guys the finished product, guys. Bye-bye. Okay, you guys, this is the finished product, and it has a uh, you know the garlic bread that we made with the cheese we sprinkled and here's just a plate for one of the kids so let's show you how it looks here in the bowl and that is just the parmesan cheese sprinkled on top along with another pack i have a pack of sargento cheese in here so i'm going to bake this put 
cover this the top of it with cheese and I'm gonna bake it you guys and it's gonna be amazing it has to there's some pepperonis in it also and there is the finished product of the garlic bread you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you have any questions about anything that I use in this video please just comment below bye guys thank you and thanks for watching